Okay, great. Okay, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm Dr. Dawn Siglane. I'm a naturopathic doctor at Intersource Health. I'm located in Huntington, New York, as well as Manhattan, New York. So I'm very happy um, to see all these faces uh, here with us today. Uh, so anyone who, uh, so welcome on the webinar here. You're getting access uh, to the PowerPoint. Um, if anyone would like access to this on, um, I've got Facebook live videos going on as well. This is gonna be posted to my Instagram TV. Um, if you would like to register for this webinar where I'll be doing questions and answers at the end, you can do so. Uh, there's the link on our page, intersourcehealth.com, uh, or you can always go to my uh, Instagram page and I have a link in bio for it. So, so let's jump right in. Okay, so. Um, all righty now. I'm just gonna make sure that I, there we go. Okay. Always little logistic things going on. So naturopathic medicine, for anyone who is hearing this term for the first time, I'm really excited to share this with you. Uh, naturopathic medicine is all about root cause medicine. So this is very important uh, now with what we're going through, but it always is important. So I, I hope that um, by the end of this, you're going to have a really great understanding about naturopathic medicine, what it means, uh, and how it can help you. People are always going, natural what? So naturopathic medicine, okay? It comes from the word nature, nature cure. So I'm going to be talking about that a little bit. Uh, and it's really wonderful in some ways. I'm going to be sharing my own experiences of how I reverse two chronic diseases. So during this, I want you to think to yourself if this could be the healing that you've been looking for. Uh, I had to find my own journey, my own path to finding this. Uh, and then it, it helped me in so many ways. Um, so it's changed my life, which is why I'm very passionate about what I do. I love what I do. I love my medicine. Uh, I love being able to work with my patients. I love um, being able to still work with my patients doing telehealth, um, which is very similar to telemedicine. Um, so that's just what we call it in New York State. I'll talk more about that. Uh, and I am here to spread the word of its healing capabilities of naturopathic medicine. So I hope that you enjoy. Again, any questions, um, feel free to ask me. I'll be answering them at the end. Uh, any questions that come up in the webinar, um, I'm probably going to be able to access those uh, quicker and easier just because I don't have to scroll through too many things. So anyone who wants to jump on this webinar, you can do so and then you could follow along with the PowerPoint in real time. Uh, so I go by Dr. Dawn. It's just easier. People tend to remember that. Uh, and why not? I've got a big picture uh, in my office of the sunrise, right? My name means sunrise, so why not go with it? You know, work with what you've got, right? I went to medical school at the University of Bridgeport. That's where I got my doctorate of naturopathic medicine. I am board certified and licensed in the state of Connecticut. New York State right now is a pre-licensed state. We're still working on licensure. Uh, so hopefully at the end of this, you'll understand why naturopathic medicine is so important. Feel free to support us. Um, and, and spread the word out there. And by supporting us, you can come and see us, you know, or at least tell your friends and family um, that we're here uh, working for you in telehealth and uh, I am located in New York. Uh, I do also have my master's of science in acupuncture. So I study traditional Chinese medicine and I am a licensed acupuncturist in New York. So I do have my license here in New York state where I practice. I'm also a Reiki practitioner, so if anyone is familiar with that, it's a wonderful form of energy healing, works on the chakra system. Uh, I have personally used it for myself for healing in wonderful ways, uh, and I love to be able to work with patients who are open to that healing as well. It's really beautiful. Uh, I, as a naturopathic doctor, I'm a general practitioner. My specialties are working with autoimmune conditions as well as pulmonary, um, but I also do walk and treat every anyone who walks through my door um, is my patient. So anyone from infants um, up to, you know, I, I have patients in their 90s um, and, and naturopathic medicine can help all ages. Um, I started on this journey as a health coach. So at the Integrative Institute of Nutrition, which I know I'm Many people know about that. I met some wonderful people through that, but that was only my stepping stone. And it opened my world up to all of nutrition and the things that 
there's this whole world about it. You think you know, but you really don't know. So it really just scratched the surface of, of for me and opened my eyes. That's how I, through that going to the convention um, was where I had heard about naturopathic medicine first. So I'm very, very grateful for it. You know, you, you think about where you're going in your life and the journeys that you've been on, the people you've met along the way that have helped you there. Um, and that and health, being a health coach was one of those that really helped me become a naturopathic doctor. Uh, so, you know, never forget those first steps that you take. They're very important. Uh, I was also a personal trainer, so certified through NASM, the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Um, moving your body is a big part of healing. I'm going to talk about that when I talk about lifestyle changes. So with my own health journey, everyone's got a story, right? Uh, how'd you get where you got? I get this question all the time. So uh, I really wanted to find a doctor who cared. I knew uh, when I wasn't feeling well for many years, back from a teenager, I would go to see doctors. I would feel so excited to go see them. Um, when the three to five minutes were up in their office, I came out feeling really depleted. And in fact, um, you know, when your energy is just, you have no hope, uh, I even felt worse after my appointments. And I would lo look at the prescription pads. I didn't know what was written on them and it just never felt right. I knew that I wasn't getting the answers that I needed. Uh, but I had not yet known about naturopathic medicine. Uh, so, but it was frustrating for myself. Um, I had to find this root cause to heal. Food as medicine definitely helped me. Um, it was a great uh, point in my life when I realized how important food was um, and I used it to, to heal myself. And I, oh, nutrition first and foremost is so important with healing. So as a naturopathic doctor, um, we were trained in it in medical school and I use it with my patients. It's one of the first and foremost things that I use with patient care. And I had to reverse my chronic illness. So why do I love to work with patients with any autoimmune conditions or pulmonary issues? Because I went through it myself. So with everything I do, you know, you, you want to find a doctor who's, you know, walk the walk and talk the talk. You know, I live my life through naturopathic medicine. Uh, I, I use it. I do it. I believe in it. It works for me. I wouldn't be here uh, doing what I do, having these talks uh, and being a naturopathic doctor if I didn't believe in it. I truly believe in it. It works in wonderful, wonderful ways. Because uh, sometimes people will be, oh, you know, it's my elbow that hurts. How can you help me? When you bring the body back to healing, there's so many ways to balance yourself out. You're going to feel wonderful in so many ways. I couldn't possibly tell you how wonderful you're going to feel because there's so many things that are going to happen. It's definitely a wellness journey. Uh, when you step in a naturopathic doctor's office, they're going to lead you and guide you towards healing. It's very different than the conventional medicine uh, form. Um, the way that they were trained versus naturopathic doctors is different. Uh, so, you know, you have to respect each um, doctor of every paradigm. One thing I always say is, you know, you can't walk into a taco shop trying to find pizza. You can't go to a pizza shop, shop trying to get a taco, right? You have to know what store you're walking into for the, for the food that you want. So you have to know which doctor you're going to for the services that you want. So when it came for me reversing my autoimmune disease, uh, I had to reverse the inflammation, but I had to find out that I had the autoimmune condition to start with. So I had uh, something called Raynaud's, very cold hands and feet, um, but that was all doctors would tell me, and they just told me, oh, you have poor circulation. Um, there was nothing that anyone could do for me, but I had these really cold, it's very uncomfortable. Anyone out there who knows how that feels, um, it, it, is, it hurts. It's, it's, uh, it's very, very painful and uncomfortable, and it got worse. It was getting worse. My fingertips were turning white, purple, um, all different shades, uh, very, very painful. I had to find specialized tests and doc I had three doctors. I remember the first doctor who said, I think you have lupus. I was in denial. It was a naturopathic doctor and I, I, didn't, um, I didn't wanna believe her. I was like, no, 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 no. All the other you know, medical doctors were telling me you're healthy. Um, so I was kind of believing that. I was like, but I am healthy, but I wasn't feeling well. So it doesn't make sense, right? So I always encourage you, seek your answers. If you know inside something's not right, keep finding answers. Find doctors who will run labs. Find doctors who will uh, ask you these questions that are introspective, make you think about things, right? To, to figure out what's going on. So I had two doctors, another one telling me, uh, I think you have lupus. Finally, a third doctor said, I think you have lupus. Let's do this test. And I did it. And it showed lupus was, was, was right there in front of me. Um, and because the antibody wasn't showing up. So it gets confusing. I do, I do lectures about this. So if anyone's more interested with autoimmune diseases, um, I, I do, I love to talk about this and I can go on and on about it. 
So, but I knew enough to know, okay, I had this autoimmune condition. Lupus is right there staring me in the face. So I reversed the inflammation within a matter of weeks. I mean, I had no energy, my joints, it was this weird joint pain. All of my joints were hurting and I work out all the time. There was no injury. I couldn't figure out why I was in such pain. So tired, tired by three o'clock every day. Um, I was in med school at the time, actually. I would have to front load my day, wake up in the morning and study because by three o'clock, I knew that I would be down for the count. Very, very tired. Couldn't even go out to dinner with my friends, nothing. Uh, it, it robs you of your life, really. Uh, and I started getting swollen hands. Uh, what, oh God, there were so many other symptoms. Um, the swollen hands was weird. When I was waking up with swollen hands, that was kind of, uh, that was one of the stranger things that were going on. Uh, my sleep started getting affected. Uh, but once I reversed that inflammation, all the symptoms melted away. I got my life back. Um, I regained uh, my strength in my joints. I wasn't able to, you know, I, the, the weights I were lifting, I, I was lifting like, you know, two to three pounds and barely doing that. Um, I got my life back. I was able to lift my weights, go back to my weight training. Uh, it was wonderful. Then years later, I was working out and I randomly had shortness of breath for two days. Uh, so shortness of breath, if anyone's been listening to my lung lectures, you want to go to doctors, cardiologists, check the heart and something called a pulmonologist, which checks your lungs. So I wasn't able to get an appointment for a few days, but I got with a cardiologist. By the time I got there, after these two days of shortness of breath, um, it, you know, it, it was gone. So he's listening to my heart and he goes, you're fine. I said, please do a full workup on me. I know shortness of breath for two days is not normal. I kind of had to fight for it, but I got it. I got the results. Uh, I, I was all normal. Then I went to, a, so I said, thank you. You know, you get the results, you move on. I went to a pulmonologist and again, he goes, listens to my lungs. You're healthy. You're fine. Um, you're vibrant. Yeah. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with you. And I, I urged him, please there. I had shortness of breath for two days. There must be something, please. Is there anything you can do? And he looks at me and he goes, we could run a pulmonary function test. Would you like that? And I said, yes, let's just do it. So I did, if anyone's done that, you feel like you're uh, kind of like an astronaut lost launching into the space. So I sit in this uh, contraption and I'm breathing and it was so difficult for me. I thought it was broken. I remember telling the, the uh, lab technician there, I said, you, there's it, I don't think you have any oxygen in here. <laughs> What's going on? This thing isn't working. Um, and she's checking everything. It took forever this test. Um, and then a few days later, the doctor calls me, the pulmonologist calls to tell me that I have mild obstructive lung disease. I was shocked and relieved. If anyone's been through this, sometimes when you get the answer, you go, finally, I have an answer. Um, and lo and behold, um, and I said to him, well, what can I do? And he said, there's nothing you can do. And I said, no, I know that there's a treatment I can do. It's called inhaled glutathione. Can you help me? Um, you know, to his credit, he wasn't trained in that. So he wasn't able to help me. So I said, uh, I said, okay, thank you for the results. You know, I walked out. So I found a doctor who could. And with that first year, so I had to get the inhaled glutathione through a compound pharmacy, um, got the prescription filled, paid out of pocket for it. Five months later, I go to another pulmonologist and I get the test and my lungs are totally normal. I reversed the condition. And then I asked him, I said, well, what, um, you know, do I have to worry about anything? Because the other pulmonologist said it was going to turn into COPD. That's, I didn't want to hear that. And he said, no, you've completely reversed it. Your lungs are fine. Uh, and I said, do I have to retest? Do I have to redo this treatment? And he says, you don't have to, but if you'd like to get it retest, sure. You can always, uh, you know, get your lungs checked and make sure that everything's fine. Um, so that was that. So it was wonderful. So I turned them around the autoimmune condition. I had to reverse the inflammation. All the symptoms got better. I felt better, healed myself. And the mild obstructive lung disease, I had to get a normal pulmonary function test, which took a few months to do that. And, uh, and that helped me and I was able to reverse it and I can breathe well. So it was really wonderful. Um, and again, but without using the different doctors, so I had to use a mixture of conventional medicine and naturopathic medicine in order to get the answers that I wanted. And then in order to get the treatments that I wanted, it was the naturopathic treatments that guided me towards healing. Uh, so very helpful. Uh, so principles of naturopathic medicine, first do no harm. First and foremost, do no harm. So the American Association of Naturopathic Physicians sent out, put out an official statement. This was on April 1st. And the official statement was encouraging doctors uh, to use IV vitamin C because it is safe and effective. There have been studies to show that it is safe and effective, and they put the statement out there encouraging doctors to do it. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful way to support the body. And it's great that naturopathic physicians did that. Uh, second, healing power of nature, nature cure. It's right in the name of our naturopathic doctors, right? 
all the answers are there in herb gardens in our food use it right but you got to use it the proper way so that's how naturopathic doctors can help you or sometimes if you're stuck you're not sure what you should be doing naturopathic doctors we've got lots of options for you identify and treat the cause so that was key so remember with my situation i couldn't just make my joints feel better or with my energy think about something like people talk about adrenal fatigue that wasn't the problem the problem was the inflammation for me right so you have to understand this root cause that's naturopathic medicine and then doctor is teacher so that's what that's what naturopathic doctors do we educate uh, and we're here for you. You can ask us questions in between visits. Uh, it's really beautiful medicine that way. We're here to coach you on, um, you know, to be there for you, to help you. Because it's a lot of changes that you're going to have to be making in order to find the healing. Uh, and treat the whole person. So it's not about the diseases. So I say specialize in, in uh, certain conditions, but that's not really what we do. We treat the whole person, okay? Um, because when it comes to autoimmune conditions and, and you know, perhaps even pulmonary issues, autoimmune conditions that opens the 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 way for the gateway for so many more conditions so you know you're going to be scrambling if you're going to try and go after each one you got to treat the whole person you find out deficiencies any excesses etc cetera, etc cetera. um and then you bring the body into balance it's beautiful and then it's a preventative which is wonderful which is important now um people were coming in you know to our dispensary wanting just about every supplement that there is less is more knowing what you should take the proper preventative medicine for you as an individual very important very key factor with that um okay so first do no harm that's the first principle right so endings use the most non-invasive way to treat that's right that uh declaration that official statement uh for intravenous vitamin c during this this a pandemic that we're going through coronavirus was really smart was a was um very well what was needed people needed to hear that um and i hope that it did f fall upon uh the proper ears and for people doctors who needed to hear that to help treat their patients i hope that it did did help uh, and save some lives uh the least toxic means of treatment right so sometimes you have to figure out what the benefit and risk is making it you know most beneficial to the patient and less is more mentality right you can't just take all the supplements and and take everything for your immune support and antiviral you know you got to pick what's important or what you like or what's feasible that's where doctor naturopathic doctors help and the healing power of nature nature cure right looking at mother nature uh we believe that the body has the innate ability to heal itself how beautiful is that you give the body what it needs it naturally heals itself that's what happened with myself and it only took a matter of weeks it was about a month uh give or take i started feeling suddenly what happens when you bring the body back to balance you suddenly just start feeling better symptoms kind of melt away okay identify and treat the cause this is so important okay um this is why we ask so many questions when i talk about how how long our visits are we have to get to the root cause of disease finding that underlying cause is so important um we have to understand the person this is why naturopathic doctors we spend time with our patients we have to identify what this cause is it's oftentimes not very obvious we have to figure this out and we give we have to remove the offending agent or if there's a few agents in there um could it be stress you know is there what is going on in the body why is this able to manifest in you what is the cause the root cause of all of these symptoms okay uh, it's it's different it's a different paradigm that naturopathic doctors have give the body what it needs it reaches perfect homeostasis that's where the body is in balance okay very important doctor is teacher so there i am in the picture uh, we have to as naturopathic doctors educate our patients we educate them about personal health care management we support the patients through the process uh, i empower my patients to take responsibility for their health this is why i work with daily affirmations i'm going to be talking about them it's beautiful it's wonderful medicine acknowledging the value of the doctor patient relationship okay so treat the whole person here um NDs don't treat a disease we heal a person so the belief that the body is an integrative whole and the sum of all of its parts that's what we do uh with the naturopathic medical assessment so it's a full medical history so it includes 
your lifestyle. We're going to ask you tons of questions, um, family and social history, physical health, mental health, emotional health, um, that those are not, um, the same exactly there's differences in there um mental uh being that you know how you take in information and then how you're able to process that and use that emotional how this is affecting you um these thoughts and your feelings and how that process is working so it's a bit different your nutritional status any deficiencies or any excesses even that are going on uh environmental concerns too, you know, where are toxicities they might be lying? Um, are you having any toxic load from food, any toxic load from your job, your home? Uh, these are all really important. Or are you even able to detox yourself? So test a toxic load. Some people can be living the same lives, but one person has a toxic load to something somebody else doesn't. Everyone's different, right? No livers are the same. People are all functioning differently. Sweating, right? When you think of detoxing uh you know we've got the skin working for you our largest organ we've got the liver and kidneys excreting uh processes too no one's uh, organs are all working the same in their body so we have to make sure that we're that it's working properly right and then you know genetic uh concerns also but the everything that i listed before that are the epigenetics and that plays such a crucial role so we have so much control over our health yeah it's our genes are important um they've made us who we are but we're we're not uh, you know victims to to these these genes you can you can easily keep those bad genes turned off with naturopathic care, right? Proper food and these lifestyle good habits that, that you're having, uh, they all help. So we focus on prevention as naturopathic doctors. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the overall health, which is really important, right? So when we come with the virus, I remember I was listening to a webinar recently about homeopathy with Paul Hershey. And I loved how he said that. He said, it's not the virus, it's our ability to adapt to it. And that is how naturopathic medicine supports the body. Okay, so it's it's having that that natural defense to protect you, right? Having proper gut health so that your microbiome is really pristine and it's got all the good gut bacteria to help you so that, that supports your immune system. So really important. Um, we focus on wellness and we focus on disease prevention. Okay, and also reversing chronic disease. All the things that I've mentioned. So there I am with uh, my, my fellow colleague, Charles Rico, Dr. Yay. Charles Rico. So this was us in clinic uh, right towards the end. I believe we were on um, Dr. Fratt alone shift here. So we took a nice, nice picture. Um, so naturopathic medical school, uh, I wanted to share some information about this. So I know a lot of people have questions about this. So the first, so, you know, had to make sure I had all the prereqs to get into it. Went to my undergrad uh, many moons actually before I went to naturopathic medical school. First two years are the basic sciences, plus also applications with um, with classes that apply to naturopathic medicine. Uh, we have our first set of board exams uh, called MPLEX-1. Uh, that's after the second year there. And then our third and fourth years, we have more uh, training in, in the classroom, but we also uh, then enter our clinical training. And there's also classes in there that include pharmacology and emergency medicine. So I wanted people to know that. Uh, we do get training in that. Um, you know, we get our CPR certs, <laughs> certifications every two years. I got to renew that. In fact, I just renewed it. Uh, and then after graduation, we also have to take our second and last set of boards called the MPLEX-2. These are really intense boards to study for, um, but it is so exciting when you get that letter in the mail and then you find out that you've passed um, and then you can become a licensed physician. So it is quite a lengthy process. Um, the training that naturopathic doctors do, naturopathic medical school, is uh, there's, there's a lot to learn. It is a grueling process. It's a wonderful process you know, as well. And to get through naturopathic medical school, I'm telling you, we have to follow these naturopathic principles. So following naturopathic medicine is what gets us through also, you know, we lean on each other. Um, I've met so many wonderful friends and colleagues through naturopathic medical school and still within the profession, um, keep meeting wonderful people. So I encourage you, find a naturopathic doctor in your area, get to know them. You know, we're, um, we're also different and unique, just like our medicine. So find a naturopathic medicine, that naturopathic doctor that, that you jive with, right? You know, vibe with your tribe. Uh, so if you, you meet someone, um, you know, that's how you get to know us. We're doing these webinars, everyone at InnerSource Health. You get to know us, see, um, 
if the way that we talk about embarrassing things that we do work with you, we all have, you know, this is the basic core way that naturopathic doctors are trained. Um, but you know, there's, there's a lot more to it. Um, cause you always want to have that good connection with any doctors, um, that, that you go to, I think, um, everyone's on board with that it makes a lot of sense. Um, but we do differ from conventional training. Um, so this is a picture, actually that's a picture of a homeopathic remedy on here. So anyone who's looking at the PowerPoints, um, there. So look, those little pellets, those are homeopathic remedies. So nutrition courses, lots of them. So there are four different semesters of nutrition. Uh, plus it's always applied in all of our classes. Um, so nutrition is first and foremost, we're always talking about that. It's so important. Food is medicine. Botanical medicine. So using um, botanical medicine in beautiful ways. We had a botanical garden out there. Dr. Z uh, was in charge of upkeeping that as well as um, many of my colleagues did. It was wonderful. I remember I always grab um, some mint leaves, which were cooling, and then also, you know, freshen your breath before before seeing uh, patients, and and grab some, um, you know, Melissa, some a little bit of lemon on it. Sometimes I like that flavor, so I love just being able to grab um, the herbs there. Herbs are wonderful, and you can cook with them now. So. I know a lot of people were, uh, you know, at, in a state of panic when supplements were out. And I said, just go to the produce section and look for some herbs, you know, grab some dried oregano leaf. That's great. That's such a powerful antiviral. Don't forget about food as medicine, you know, go and uh, shop the perimeter of your grocery store. Uh, homeopathy is wonderful working, um, you know, constitutionally on the person. A homeopathic intake is different than just a, a, a the, the normal naturopathic medical intake. So um, if homo homeopathy is something that you want, make sure that your naturopathic doctor, uh, we've all been trained in it. Some people are um, use it more in practice than others. Um, myself and all the doctors at InnerSource Health, we do use homeopathy. Uh, it's very effective. It's wonderful. So if you're curious about that, you can always um, contact us and, and talk to us and, and we'd be happy to use it. Hydrotherapy is wonderful. So I always talk about um, the wet sock treatment. So that's something that we do uh, in school. We were trained in it. You know, people would lie out on the tables. We'd have, you know, it's using water. So hydro water therapy. So using water at different temperatures to bring the body back to homeostasis. It's wonderful. Um, and physical manipulation. So we also took many semesters in that. Um, we had a chiropractor teaching us uh, for some of those courses. So physical manipulations are a wonderful technique um, that I did use when, when I was in Connecticut there in the clinic. And counseling also. So if you're looking for talk therapy, that's a piece of the, the puzzle there. Um, you know, I'll see a lot of patients and the, they'll have their therapist, but then they'll also sometimes, you know, bring up the things that they're talking about in therapy to me. And it helps me to get a, to get a nice full picture of what's going on. And, and it really does help. So conditions, I'm going to list them because people are always asking, but don't forget that that naturopathic doctors, we treat people, okay? It's all about the person. It's not just about these conditions, but I wanna say these, cause these are important. You know, and when we're in that medical intake, we're breaking down each system to put the person back together as a whole. So there's the cardiac, heart, renal, kidneys, hepatic, liver, pulmonary, lungs, dermatology, the skin, mental health, endocrinology, rheumatology, neurology, women's and men's health, um, yes, we did have training with that in naturopathic medical school, um, oncology and um, gastroenterology, right? Tr the gut, so important. So um, we have training with all of that. Can you still see your MD? I get this question a lot. Of course you can. So there's all different types of doctors. So I'm talking about me, naturopathic doctor now. There's also DOs, which are osteopathic doctors. There's MD, medical doctors. Um, and then those are typically the ones that are primary care physician. Uh, and then also with some states too, chiropractor care as well. So if you're looking for that, um, chiropractic care can be very effective. You want to have proper alignment. Uh, it's very important because that's when all your organs can sit exactly where they want so they can do their job. You have to have the proper alignment. And in fact, sometimes the best care for the patient requires multiple modalities. So it's important to have an ND on your side and an MD on your side. And if you're going for adjustments also, having all those doctors talk and communicate, I'm very open to doing that combined care. So that's something that naturopathic doctors can offer for you. 
And we're happy to be on board for that. And we also refer out too. So I'm always adding to my list of, of quality doctors. You know, I get feedback from patients. Oh, I, you know, I really enjoyed, um, you know, this card, this cardiologist and, you know, et cetera. And I love to make my list so that I can refer out. Um, it's great to have a team of doctors that, that think holistically or at least open to it. Um, it helps. And healers come in all ways. So there's massage therapists, there's physical therapists, there's personal trainers. Um, these, I was talking about energy medicine with Reiki. Uh, sometimes they call them light healers. There's cranial sacral therapists um, as well. Social workers, maybe your healers, even nutritionists. So, you know, you want to find someone who has the approach that they can work with you and help you. So all sorts of healers. Um, and it's your health journey. So be there find the answers. Um, and if you need someone to be, you know, an advocate for your health as a naturopathic doctor, I love doing that and helping people in those ways. Um, so if you're looking for some tips and, and you need some, some, someone to help you ask for what you want, um, that's what naturopathic doctors can do. So reach out to us, find your naturopathic doctor in your community, find us during uh, this phase of telehealth. We're here to help you. And why visit an ND? Why have an ND on your side? I always say we put the care back into healthcare. We truly do. We take the time to get to know you. We listen. It's comfortable sitting in there. I always get compliment. People enjoy my office. I enjoy going to my office. I, I miss my office right now. Um, and we take the time to discuss your health needs. Um, that was one of the things when I was saying I would go um, and seek care. And then when I'd walk out of the visit, I'd, I'd feel hopeless after. Uh, feeling, feeling hopeless can get in the way of healing. So having that hope, that's something that naturopathic doctors can do. And we use multiple modalities. Very helpful. So what is telehealth? Telehealth, again, if we're talking telemedicine, telehealth, telehealth uh, tends to have a broader scope to it. Uh, and telemedicine is talking about just clinical practice. Um, for the purposes of what, as a naturopathic doctor, what I'm doing uh, in New York State, um, they can be used interchangeably, but we use telehealth in the state of New York. And it's the ability to access healthcare remotely, and there's video conferencing options or simply the phone, the good old phone. And there's so many benefits to using telehealth. So you're able to stay home when you're sick, right? Are, aren't we always saying this, you know, stay home. If you're not feeling well, stay home. So why, you know, make yourself come out to see a doctor in a snowstorm or something like that if you can just stay home when you're sick, regardless of the season? On-demand convenience, right? Just give us a call. Give Lindsay, my office manager, a call. Let us know you're not feeling well, and we'll try and squeeze you in that day. No problem, okay? Um, so it's important to think about also establishing care with a naturopathic doctor. Do you want to wait until you're really sick? Not necessarily. Uh, if you want to just get everything on board, make sure that like everything's aligned. Um, is in, That's good to check in. So when you have that time to do that 90-minute visit, uh, that's really good so that we've established care so that in the future, if you do have acute conditions or anything like that, we can get you in for those quick 15 minute visits or, or longer visits, whatever it is that you need. Uh, so, you know, and this, this happens a lot uh, sometimes with pediatrics, you know, they just want to have a quick visit, but we have to establish care. So it's important to get that initial visit. You don't have to wait until you're not feeling sick. You know, you can just kind of have a little bit of low energy. That's, that's a telltale sign that there's something that needs to be balanced out in the body. We need to find there could be something deeper there. If you have the time and you have the ability to do telehealth, do it then when you're, you know, I always say that the body has three ways of communicating with you. It whispers to you, it talks to you, and then it starts screaming at you. You don't want to wait until the body's screaming at you. Typically, then you find yourself in the emergency room, right? It whispers to you. So if there's just a few little things going on. Um, that's, that would be a good time to go check them out. Go, go figure out what's going on. I guarantee you're going to, you're going to love it. Uh, it's a different kind of medicine. Um, and then when the body's talking to you a little bit more, you know, definitely try and get out there and, and see your naturopathic doctor. Um, so you can, you can get to the root cause of what's going on. But you do have that on-demand convenience with the telehealth. It also expands our access to care and we can reach more patients. And then here at InterSource Health, we are in fact accepting new patients, um, which is great. A lot of, some doctors are not doing that during this time. So we're here for you. We're accepting new patients. Give us a call. So what do you expect? What are you going to expect at your first telehealth appointment? So the first appointment is a 90 minute appointment. It's an thorough medical intake. The things that we're going to ask you, you might be like, wow, even the questions, 
can help guide you towards healing. I see it happen a lot. So we're going to ask about, obviously, the current medical condition, how you're feeling, and all of your past medical history. We're going to do a complete review of systems, going straight from like headaches up to like, do you have numbness or tingling in your feet? All of it. We want to know what's going on. What are you eating every day? If you, have, if you make a food log, that would be great. So uh, especially if you're having um, a rash or any digestive issues, thinking about gut health, um, get a food log going because I'm going to be asking you about um, what you're eating. Uh, lifestyle, what do you do? What are your hobbies? What's going on in your life? How's work? How's your marriage? Um, you know, what's going on? Stress and how it affects your life. Stressor is a major underlying cause to a lot of what can be going on. And um, that's usually going to be a first starting point. So if there's a lot of stress, you know, we all have it, but what is your stress load? We're always going to ask you. So what's stress on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most, um, zero being the least, you know, how are you managing it? Very important. So submit any current or past lab reports. It's only going to help me if you're able to get it to me before the visit. I'll take the time to review it. Um, you know, sometimes um, that's not the case, but that's what I like to, I like to re review things in advance if I can. It's only going to save us time um, that I don't have to take away from our initial visit. So if you're able to do that and bring that to us and send it in, it's going to help. Um, and then if necessary, we can make recommendations to run their specialty labs that we use to test hormones, toxins, et cetera, all those things. And the follow-up visit. So with telehealth, so there's all different times. So it could be a 50 minute visit. Um, typically follow-up visit, if there are a lot of um, labs that we have to go through, uh, it might be a 50 minute visit for that, for that next follow-up visit, not necessarily. Um, you as the patient, you really can decide what you want, uh, 25 minute or 15 minute. Um, you can, we, we're going to review your current state of health. So I'm going to see what's changed. So since the last time I saw you, what's going on? What's gotten better? Anything gotten at worse actually, or um, any new things that have come up? We're going to go over your past health plan. So I'm going to go. So when you leave my office, you're going to have a sheet full of nutrition advice, lifestyle habits to do and supplements. I'm going to see what were you doing? What was feasible? Uh, what, where do we need another approach with this? You know, sometimes we're going to cross things off. This didn't work for you, or maybe it's just not the right time. We have to work up to it. So it's a process. Um, I do like to lay it all out there in the beginning um, because I want my patients to see the full picture, but not to get overwhelmed with it. Okay. Um, but there's all ways to approach it, you know, and if someone says, I just need to do a little bit, then we start in little, little baby steps. No problem. Whatever works for you. As naturopathic doctors, we meet the patients where they're at. And then we create a new health plan. So based on that health plan, we're then going to build on it and take some things off and then create the new health plan moving forward with each visit. And each patient always re receives their own unique plan. So never have I re recreated a health plan, even for the same person. There's always something, some little nuance, something to do with it that's different. And so this health plan, so you're going to have a full sheet. So nutrition, so all naturopathic doctors, this is how we were trained. You get a full sheet of nutrition advice, lifestyle, and supplements. That's how I organize it for you. So with nutrition, lots of options that you can eat. Anyone who follows me on social media, you know, I'm always posting things. What I, this morning, I just had a dragon fruit and posted all about it. It's so delicious. I put it in the fridge beforehand. So it was a little cool. It was really yummy. Just slice up that, that guy in half. And then it's, you've got this little cool hot pink uh, bowl that it's kind of already in with that thick skin and you just eat it. Oh my gosh, all, all the nutrients and the fiber is so delicious. I love it. So I love sharing uh, quick, easy things like that. Um, and if it's right for you to eat it, because um, some healthy food might be good for you or your loved one, um, but might not be good for like another friend of yours. So it always depends on the person and what's going on with them. Uh, so lifestyle. And then, then, of course, with nutrition, you have to consider what are some obstacles to cure? So are you eating some foods that are perhaps contributing to the inflammation that's going on, perhaps contributing to, um, you know, a dysbiosis in the gut? What's going on that we need to take out of, the, of what you're eating? There, usually there's something there that we can remove. Uh, supplements. So less is more. This is really important. I always encourage patients, you know, when we're doing telehealth now, have your supplements there and show it to me, right? Just put it right there in the camera. Show me the label so I can read it. Or I just simply will look it up if you don't have it on hand. But now with telehealth, they're in their home, so they have it. And just show it to me. I love to see what you're taking and I want to read what are the extra ingredients in it. Okay. Very important. 
Not all supplements are the same. In our dispensary, everything's third-party tested. You wanna make sure that you're taking supplements that are quality, because if you're not taking quality supplements, that could be part of the problem too. I, you know, sometimes I see patients and they just bring, they're, they're bringing in bucket loads of supplements. That's too much. That's simply too much. Uh, they'll feel better when I've taken them off of half those supplements. And could maybe those supplements come back in the future and they use them? Sure. Or in some of those times I tell them that's just not a quality supplement. That can go, that can go in the garbage. Uh, so it all depends. And then I am unique in the fact that I use daily affirmations. So uh, I was introduced to this in the clinic um, and in naturopathic medical school. And I absolutely love it. Louise Hay had this book. In fact, oh, I have it right here. Heal Your Body. Oh, so beautiful. And with that, uh, she, she's guided me through the years. Um, so it lists the, you know, what's going on, the symptom in the, in the person, and then an affirmation. So these affirmations are empowering statements that I give that my patients to say every day to make them feel better. Okay. Sometimes you need those little, those little pushes, like, you know, how to feel good. That's what daily affirmations do. I love it. I write them on these little pieces of paper with the envelopes. Um, I've been mailing it to my patients now, uh, so that they can have them. Uh, so they're very powerful. And you say it every day, ideally out loud, uh, say it in the mirror to empower yourself to feel better. Nutrition, so nutrient dense. So I'm all about whole food, plant-based foods. We're talking about fiber, antioxidants, eat the rainbow, and delicious recipes. So I love making delicious, easy recipes, sharing um, how you can, how, how you can uh, prepare food for yourself and the proper preparation of food to help your digestion. So there's certain ways that I might be suggesting to you to prepare the food that can make all the difference in the world. Um, sometimes with Chinese medicine, you know, we can use the approach of eating with the seasons, you know, eat locally. And then that diet diary that I was talking about. So always a good idea, keep a food log of what you're eating and it's going to really help your naturopathic doctor when you meet with them. Uh, so lifestyle. So that's the second big part. And sometimes this, this is the part that has the most information for my patients. Um, so stress relief. So stress being a huge factor. How does stress affect you? What are the stressors in your life and how's it affecting you? Stress relief sometimes is numero uno with my patients. Very important. So essential oils are fantastic to use. Um, lots of essential oils that are grounding, um, some essential oils that can that can help uh, you with breathing, all different ways to use it. You know, get a wonderful diffuser, get an essential oil roll on, whatever it is that you need. You know, put some essential oils under the sole of your foot, like the parts of the body where you can apply it to that help you to heal. I love sharing that with patients. Getting out into nature. So I always talk about how nature can help the negative ions, getting out there with the forest bathing and getting those negative ions, those bioterpenes that you're smelling, you're walking, you're seeing, all the five senses are picking up on them and bringing you back to health, grounding you, calming down that stress, releasing the stress and meditation. So meditation is wonderful. And now's a perfect time. Grab a few minutes of your day. There's no excuse. I have no time. Come on. Give me a break. I just did a 21 day meditation with Deepak Chopra. Um, it was through um, a friend of my cousin. She connected us. It was one of those serendipitous things. And within the first day of meeting her, she's like, hey, we're doing this meditation with Deepak. It's a 21 day meditation. You want to do it? I was like, of course. It just ended over the weekend. Um, and man, I really loved it. It was wonderful. I wrote it in my little book. Um, which is right over there. And, and I made notes on it and I like to reflect on it. So try and tap into that. There's apps that you can do it, but you could just sit there in silence um, for a minute. Just try it for a minute. There's wonderful messages that come from meditation to help to empower you. Um, one way that I like to explain it, uh, you know, prayer is a way where we ask for things. So whether you're religious or spiritual, I know sometimes people have their moments and they just want to ask for someone else or what they want, some sort of healing. Maybe, you know, a lot of times now people are doing prayers, um, you know, collective conscious prayers or something like that to bring people together, um, to ask for, you know, a higher, a higher being like for help, you know, what's going on, but meditation is the opposite of that. So it's opening your mind and relaxing and releasing and sitting there and you receive the messages in specific for you. It's really beautiful. So everyone has their own path with meditation. The more you do it, I think the more you'll find out how it, uh, how it um, appeals to you. Um, but try it. I really encourage you. If stress is one of those factors that is uh, affecting your health, 
really try and decrease that stress. It's very important. And exercise. So as a personal trainer, uh, I love exercise. I'm always doing squats and wall sits. I'm trying to do something uh, in my office with patients. Um, sometimes it's kind of funny. I don't, my, my office isn't really have the room for that, but uh, I, I always say, I was like, ah, oh, you know, maybe one of these days, uh, you know, I'll be able to be doing workouts with patients in there, but I do it. I do it. Uh, so we do the squats. It's fun. Um, you got to move that chi. So in Chinese medicine, so that's what acupuncture does. Um, but there's ways sometimes I'll use the blood type diet in terms of how pe different people, different blood types release cortisol, the stress hormone differently. So that's really effective with getting someone on the right path for what exercise is right for them. So tons of ways, if you're not exercising and you want to find a naturopathic doctor, who's going to motivate you to work out. Uh, sometimes you just need that encouragement or those reminders to move. So there's always starting points. So I love to work with that. Um, other ways of moving the chi, you know, there's tons of things that we'll talk about getting your lymphatic system moving. Um, our muscles are the ones that do it to get those those uh, the lymph the lymph moving, um, and if you can't exercise, then there's other options. So there's always options. That's what naturopathic does. We doctors do. We have tools in our toolbox to help you. Okay, toxic free lifestyle. You got to think about what are you cleaning your home with. What is the makeup that you're using? Is it all natural? Um, if you if you do use makeup, what are you using as a moisturizer? What are you putting on your skin, your largest organ? You're absorbing it. It's going into your body and it's affecting your health. So make sure it's toxic free. Other things I, I did on, you know, and I'll do talks about daily detox, you know, using green plants, um, how, they, how they can purify the air for you and get the toxins out of there. Pretty wonderful. It's tons of things that you can do. Are you absorbing? Are you excreting properly, right? These are all the things in natural practice medicine we're asking. You know, we talk about the poo. What does it look like? How often do you go? Blah, 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 blah. We want to know these answers. These are the things uh, that we talk about all medical school. It's kind of natural to us. So be prepared to ask those questions because we want to know. And are you sleeping? You know, how, what, we have to get to the bottom. If it's low energy, what's going on? Are you feeling rested when you wake up? Um, are you having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? There's a difference there. We want to know that. And are you having fun? You know, that's a big question here. Um, you know, when it comes to lifestyle, you can be doing all the right things, but if you're not having fun in your life, then you've got to backtrack and say, okay, how can I have fun with my life? Because that's part of health, right? You can't be stressing about being healthy because that, now you're just adding to the stress wheel there. So are you having fun? Sometimes that's the conversation that I have to have with my patients. Happy Earth Day. Oh, <laughs> that was a video. <laughs> that was a video that I did yesterday that I put in there. Um, I didn't know that's how you play it. So that's funny. Supplements. So less is more, right? So making sure it's quality supplements that you're taking third party tested. We're talking vitamins, minerals, supplements to balance out neurotransmitters. Yes. Naturopathic medicine can balance out neurotransmitters. You can do this naturally detoxing the body, right? So we can support the liver doing lifestyle things, castor packs, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, detoxing with supplements, maybe there's some specific supplements that you can be taking digestive support, huge. So getting yourself on a quality probiotic is important. There's lots of probiotics out there. Get a good one. Okay. The microbiome is really plays such a crucial role here with your immune support, with your immune health. And it is a factor when we're talking with, about this pandemic right now. So it's important that your digestive health is on point. Okay. And you want to be on a good probiotic definitely um, something to be considering there. Uh, supplements, do you need antioxidant support? This is a factor. This is what people are talking about, people with coronavirus, that um, they, there is oxidative stress. So therefore, then you need some antioxidants. And anti-inflammatories, people are always talking about that. Does that apply for you? Is that something that you need? Uh, not everyone needs anti-inflammatories. Okay, so it's, it's worth getting tested. When I was going through um, my autoimmune condition, my, I tested my omega threes and sixes, but I was having joint pain. I was having all these things. My omega threes were so high. So, um, and my omega sixes were low. So omega, omega threes are those anti-inflammatory omegas. Um, omega sixes for the most part are the, the inflammatory ones. And, but what you do want is a healthy balance because there's healthy inflammation, right? So not all the omega sixes are bad, but for the most part with the standard American diet, the world that we're living in with all the toxins, people are typically higher in omega sixes and lower in threes. I was the opposite. I was high in threes and lows in six, which is not necessarily great either. Okay. So for me, I was decreased to decrease the inflammation did not mean 
just pop omega-3s. My omega-3s were already high. Does that make sense to everyone? Because that's a really big, it, that's a really big point to get home is that there's so much that as naturopathic doctors, we consider. It's not just Googling it and figuring it out. Oh, anti-inflammatories, I need an omega-3. Not necessarily the case for everyone. You want to have the proper testing. You want a naturopathic doctor who's on board and knows what's going on. And what does anti-inflammatory mean for you, right? I had a very unique situation but I'm not the only one out there with unique situations. Probably a lot of you out there listening now have unique situations because you can't figure out what's going on and you want to feel better. Um, so naturopathic medicine explores all of these options and they'll get you answers. So an appointment with me, okay? I was saying, you know, every naturopathic doctor is different. It's important to find the one that works for you, okay? Naturopathic medicine is as unique and different as all the people on this wonderful earth, okay? So you gotta find the doctor that works for you. So what? how can you benefit coming from me? If you're interested in combining Western naturopathic medicine as well as Eastern acupuncture, uh, I use all these techniques of wellness. Um, but if you do come to me for telehealth or as a naturopathic doctor, let's say um, when we're back and, and I can see my patients, you don't have to have acupuncture with me. Um, I see a lot of patients just with naturopathic, but it's an option to have if that is something that you want. A lot of people typically do like it. And then after our initial visit, you have a nice little acupuncture treatment at the end of it when we're back in the office. And then when you come back, we can combine naturopathic and acupuncture. And people really like that. Um, it's very, talk about that stress management. Acupuncture is so wonderful in dealing with that. So dealing with the meridians and doing a tongue and pulse diagnosis gives me a lot of uh, information. And even if someone is just coming for a naturopathic visit, I'm going to be like, let me see your tongue, stick your tongue out. Um, people are always like, mm, because the tongue is the one muscle in the body that we can see. And that is, gives us so much information because all the organs are connected in the tongue, right? Pretty cool. The more tongues I see, the more I'm like, I, I love tongues. Um, so find it if you want it, that West Eastern approach, find a naturopathic doctor who's been trained in Chinese medicine. Uh, and I also do Reiki. So if that's something that you want, if it's not something that you want, um, then that's no big deal either. Uh, Reiki, I only perform on patients who, who have given me permission to do Reiki on them. So if Reiki is something that you want, I can tap into that and, and offer that. And daily affirmations. So um, I love self-talk is a big part of health. So I've been doing talks in the salt cave uh, for, geez, over like a year and a half now. Um, so now I just do my meditations online until I get to go back in there. Uh, the salt cave is amazing for grounding yourself. Um, and the, for, I started it by doing a series of positive self-talk and it was wonderful. People really enjoyed it. So Self-talk is a whole topic in and of itself uh, and bringing awareness to that. What is your self-talk? What are you thinking? What are these automatic thoughts that you have that you've been having potentially since a child? Um, these thoughts are so automatic and that they do come before the feeling set in. So it's really an important topic to talk about. Um, the more I talk about it, the more I learn about it. Um, the more I learn from people and patients, it's really cool. Talk therapy. So that is something that I will offer my patients uh, with a naturopathic piece. So it's not all about uh, the supplements and what you're eating. If we just need to talk about something, I'm here for you. You know, I'm all ears. Let's talk about it. Uh, let's get it off your chest. You know, I can, uh, you know, ask you some questions that maybe just get you thinking because um, you have all the answers inside of yourself. Naturopathic doctors know this. So that's what we're here to help you with. Um, I also do make custom Bach remedies in my office, and I can, you know, do that for even with telehealth now. Um, Bach remedies are beautiful at their flower essences that help to support the system. So whatever you're going through, uh, the way it goes, it kind of lets you coax through those emotions, and then suddenly um, you're feeling a little bit better. You have a different perspective about it. I see it all the time with the Bach remedies. They're beautiful. And then homeopathy, so wonderful with working on the constitution that for the person. They can also be used in acute situations, great with children, um, you know, great on so many aspects of the vitality of the person and bringing them to true healing. I love it. So how do you get the results you want, right? Commit to health. And I say this because I want my patients to be ready to make the change. It's very difficult if you're not there and, and you're willing and ready to make these changes, okay? Um, I'm here to guide you with the change because if you're not feeling well, something's been going on in your life um, that got you there. Now, 
could be a multitude of reasons, all the things that I've already talked about. Um, but really have that talk with yourself and have that understanding. Are you really committed to making these changes to feel better? It's a big part of the picture. And be honest with your end date. If there's something seems too difficult, so we give a lot of options. And if it seems too difficult for you and you just didn't want to eat beets, you know, just tell us. There's other things that we can do for, you know, your heart health. If that's what we're talking about. There's always options. Don't feel like, you know, you get there, you, you know, you're going to get the health plan and you have to do everything. No, we want to know. We want your feedback. Okay. While as naturopathic doctors, naturopathic doctors, we're trained in this. So as I'm talking to you, I'm getting a feel for you. What's going to work for you or not. Okay. But if, if maybe you, you're the person you've been in that body for how many years you're going to give me the insight and tell me this is actually a direction that I want to go in. Let's start here. Feedback is welcome. Okay. I know sometimes people aren't used to that. They're like, Oh, we're still talking there. You know, they're like, you're still asking me questions. You, you want to know what I think? Yeah, we do. We do. So when you come to the visits, you know, get ready to talk. We we're asking questions. We've got our, you know, naturopathic detective hat on there and we're trying to really get to the root cause and understand you so that we can help you. Okay. So, um, so that's why we're asking all these questions. They're really important. Um, and how do you get the results you want? Trying your best. That's all just showing up, just trying, you know, and then by trying, you can figure out what doesn't work for you. And then that's really great feedback for your naturopathic doctor, because then we can help you get over these hurdles. Where are you stuck? Let's get you moving forward. Um, making these nutrition and lifestyle changes take time. So be really gentle on yourself. Uh, as an ND, let us cheer you on, okay? We're accessible. Any questions, just reach out to us. And we're in this together. So I remember I saw this um, phrase and I thought it was cool. For extraordinary results, you must be an extraordinary patient, okay? But extraordinary being a very loose term, um, but it's what's important for you. So be the patient um, that you want to be to get the results that you want. Okay. We work for you. You work for you. Okay. And it's not, we're just not just going to take this magic potion and you feel better. Doo, 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 doo. No, that's not how we were trained. Um, you know, that we were, went to naturopathic medical school. So we know the body, we know the physiology of the body, biochemistry. Okay. We understand it to a science there's, but we also know that you're a person with emotions and that you've been affected by life and there's stressors in your life. We take all of that into the, the account because it makes a difference. Okay. But you also have to work for you. So you got to put, you got to put a little elbow grease into it also, but I promise you it's worth it. So wonderful. And remember, NDs put the care back into healthcare. So I love saying that. Um, Okay, so any, uh, any questions, now I'll be taking them here. And you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at drdawnnd. I'm always posting uh, recipes. I'm always talking about, you know, I'm posting now all the different lectures I'm doing. Um, and when I'm back, you know, in, in Huntington and Manhattan, where my lectures will be also, I'm on Facebook. You can follow my professional page there at drdawnnd. Uh, you can email me. So if I don't get to your questions today, feel free to email me at drdawn at innersourcehealth.com and feel free to visit our website. We're always posting um, new articles or blogs or interviews um, or anything of that nature. Um, that's great. So I'm going to open this up for any questions um, that anyone may have. So let's see. I've got a few windows open. Oh, hi, Vicki. <laughs> All right. So great. So let's see. I'm going to go back in here. So um, oh, let's see. I'm always, I'm always getting these alerts. I don't know where, where is this coming from. Okay. Something just popped up, but I don't. Okay. All right. I think that we're good here. All right. So um, so just let me know, um, you know, anything with naturopathic medicine, um, think about it now if this is the time for you to explore it. Uh, we're always open to 10 minute consults. So you can just call the office. Uh, Lindsay's our office manager and she's awesome. And she'd be more than healthy, happy to help you. Uh, you can set up a uh, call 10 minutes um, for a free consult to see if naturopathic medicine is right for you. Any of the doctors um, would be willing to, to do that. Uh, you can call Lindsay at 631-421-1848. Um, 
ha happy to, and someone's asking, um, you know, is, is now really the right time to do it considering all the stress or should uh, we wait when this is all over? Uh, now is the right time to do it. So I encourage you to, if you have the time, um, right now we're offering 50% uh, off for all visits. So that includes the first visit, okay? So that's a, that's a huge savings. So, um, and that's ending actually, what's today? Th tomorrow, Friday. So if you are interested, uh, get in with the, that 10 minute consult, um, talk to myself or any of the doctors that you might be interested in. And we're happy to talk to you, answer any questions you might have. Um, I've given a lot of information now with, with the training that I've had, which is similar, you know, this is what naturopathic doctors go through. So I hope that you've had the insight for it. Um, but it's always a good time to see if naturopathic medicine is good for you. Don't wait until your body is talking really loudly or screaming at you. Okay, so take charge of your health. I hope that you all feel empowered. Um, you know, think about what you're eating. If anything, um, I hope that this puts some, uh, you know, a little fire under your butt and think about what should I be eating? Is there something in my life causing me stress? Can I decrease it? Um, do I need more extensive lab work to figure out what's going on? Have I been having something bothering me? And I haven't really gotten the answers and I want the answers. Um, could a naturopathic doctor work with my current doctor now um, to help me? Yes, yes, yes. We can do all of these things. Um, so I hope that, and, you know, thinking about supplements, am I taking the right supplements? Is there something else I should be taking? What's the quality of my supplements? All these things, all these questions that you're thinking about, naturopathic doctors can help you. So thanks so much for being here. I appreciate uh, you taking the time on a Thursday to join me. And uh, I'll be, I have another talk tomorrow, and then I've got more lined up for next week. So hope to see you soon and take care. Bye now.